Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I'm a digital nomad who travels solo and sometimes with my boyfriend Sam. And we are in Tegazoo, Morocco and about to head over to Imswan to see what the current state is. We visited Morocco last year and Imswan was by far our favorite place. So after hearing about the sort of destruction that's going on there, we thought we'd head back up there and talk to the locals, see what's happening because we're pretty in the dark. We got on a shuttle bus to take us all the way from Tegazu to Imswan, which is just over an hour drive, and it was really beautiful and scenic along the coast and inland as well. Yeah, so we're walking down the main sort of street of Imswan at uh, the moment. Can't really see much sort of destruction yet, but there is a lot of you know, big demolitions, sort of vehicles and stuff, so. It looks like it's mostly here that everything was ripped apart and taken down. Yeah, behind us is kind of where a lot of the rubble is. And we're walking down to the street where we used to get off the bus that got us here. And I don't think there's any of those little shops that were there before, but we're gonna go see. This is what was Momo's Cafe and we actually had some tea here last time and a bit of food and this is where the bus used to stop but it looks like it's all been destroyed now. The main destruction happened along the coast so before you can see there were some sh uh, different huts and shacks and now it's just complete rubble all along the coast because they're building resorts and trying to gentrify the area and get more tourists there and get more money basically. So these were all homes and businesses along the coast that were ruined. We also noticed that a few of the restaurants and shacks and places that we had been to when we first got there were no longer there. So that was a bit surprising. Then we made our way over to the main restaurant area and we could see it being demolished even a few days or a week after the demolition had started. So they're still currently taking down buildings as we speak. So there are a few different shops here and we got a burrito here on our first day. Now it's gone. Our favorite restaurant, Anza, has also been demolished. Yeah, no longer there. There's also this random horse that just hangs out under this tree by the rubble where one of the buildings had been knocked down. We also wanted to check out the surfing and there's still resorts and restaurants and stuff along this part of the beach where the surfers are. So Sam hired a board for the day for 70 Durham, well for half a day, and we went to check out the beach. It's still just as beautiful as ever. And we had a really great beach day, despite the rest of the town being somewhat destroyed. <laughs> so we just talked to someone at a hostel. He told us that although the land is really, really expensive, um, it's only about 300 dirhams a year to have a permit to live here, which is or uh, just under or 30 about euros. 30 euros. Yeah. So, um, you know, really isn't that expensive, but, you know, we don't know how often or if any warnings were actually reaching the people living here. Um, we were told that there was warnings, but we don't really know 
what happened. Um, we do know that the final warning was that they were given 24 hours to leave. And um, as soon as that 24 hours were up, even though people were still around, uh, people started sledgehammering and demolishing the building. So yeah, it's a bit of an area on the beach. Not all the buildings, obviously the whole town isn't, hasn't been destroyed, but just one area. There's still quite a few backpackers that are here. A lot of people, um, it seems like the locals that owned these properties that are being torn down and have been torn down have left a decent amount of them. Um, but there's not many restaurants anymore, despite there being quite a lot of tourists around. And we heard from some people that the produce, uh, the local people that bring in produce and food have been turned away and they also don't know where to go to drop off things because these restaurants have been destroyed so there isn't a whole lot of food around here so every restaurant kind of serves the same thing like burritos tagine omelets um but yeah obviously there's enough food going around but it's a lot more desolate than it was last time we were here pretty so we are just trying to hitchhike out of m swan back to tagazoot and just want to wrap things up by saying it was kind of sad what happened, but I don't know what the future will hold for this one. So yeah, it seems like tourism is still, you know, pretty good here. Um, after a few years, I think they'll after a little bit of time they'll sort of get back to their groove. It's still definitely worth visiting, but yeah, it is different how it was before, but not so much that you know it's not worth it anymore. And the beach is still really nice, so yeah. that's worth checking out. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!